what's up everybody welcome to hyper rpg we got a trailer reaction for you today black panther i'm joined by paris lay if you want away you know who it is yeah, yeah you, let's you, do it it's uh, your boy this is, yeah we, we we we're gonna cut to the chase look i have i haven't seen this trailer it's been out too long everyone's been tagging thank you everyone knows <laughs> this is my dude i don't Dude, you posted a picture yesterday when the poster came out of you crying, yeah, yeah, I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't wait. Uh, I can't yeah, wait yeah. This trailer I was reaction. Like, it was, it was. It, I was ready. I was just too ready, you know. I, and also, I found out I have no Black Panther merch. All I <laughs> so that I'm Disney bounding. That's uh, on you, Marvel. Right now. That's uh -huh. on you, Marvel. Well, well also, just I, I, I'm slow on the T Fury, but uh, <laughs> you know, forget it. Let's just see. It. I'm all tired right, of waiting. Before you ask, uh, let's see. Adam is in Europe. Hector is <laughs> booked, and Augie's at work. Get also, who did you expect? Yeah. Who did you expect? This? I mean, I feel like Hell Zach yeah. is the only surprising part of this equation. <laughs> I read all the books, man. All right, I know. Oh, I'm man. just saying, you know. He woke. He woke. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right are we ready? Let's do this. Tell me something. What do you know about Wakanda? It's a third world country. Ooh. Textiles, shepherds, cool outfits, all the front. Explorers have searched for it. Ooh. Called it El Dorado. They well, looked for it in South all the America. Colors of our but it was in Africa the whole time. I'm the only one who's seen it. Oh, and made it out alive. The mythos of like El Dorado is. Oh, you yeah. go. You done go. Oh. <laughs> I can see you. Oh, yeah. world is changing. Soon, there will only be the conquered and the Ooh. conquerors. Step into the spotlight. You oh, are a shit. good yeah. man. Ooh. Step into the spotlight. With a good heart. Ooh. And it's hard for a good man Ooh. to be a Ooh. king. Look at that color. <laughs> that was a lot to take in really quick. Ooh. If you breathing over there, man. Yeah, I had to take some deep breaths. They said it couldn't be done. You know, we had to sit there. We, we had to sit there and and watch as Marvel created uh, um, Asgard. And they were told us Wakanda couldn't be, be done. And, you know, seeing what they did, I'm like, you know, maybe you guys were right. It couldn't be done till now. We didn't have the technology, and America wasn't ready <laughs> <laughs> to see that. Dude, oh. there's a lot to take in in that. That was that was moving quick. Oh yeah, this is yeah. This and is great. what I like is unlike a lot of the other origin story trailers, is they are throwing all of the characters at you in that. Just yeah. boom, mm -hmm. boom, 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 so, boom. Yeah, lot lot to take is, in there. This has been, I mean, they probably have to get a new editor. This is the most dark skins that have been in Marvel <laughs> comic films. Yeah, who they ever. get to DP this? Because it's you not going to be the same guy that shot everything else. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, gonna, it's probably going to be the same guy who did Luke Cage. It's like, you know how to get the lighting no, right. I don't, I don't <laughs> you know, you guys know, how to, way, you know how to get the right. That looked way better than Luke Cage, though. Oh, man, yeah. Uh, oh. The color, too. It looks like they, they on this one, they're sticking with the red setup because that color was popping. Yeah, it was, it was great. Thing. And I, that's the smartest choice. I mean, if, if anyone has seen any type of African traditional clothes, it's lots of bright red greens yellows and that it just looked beautiful uh just seeing all of that you know that what, what do you guys think like you i think it really uh, we were talking about this earlier I, I think it really takes a lot of inspiration from Coates's uh comic i mean because yeah. it look it looks like that comic come to life because wakanda is just so vibrant and there's just all these large skyscrapers and just the, the colors of it just pop out and it's a really colorful book and i love that they've seemed to capture that 
like in this trailer. That's one of the things I'm most excited about that because I love that comic. And then it's also looking like it's taking some of the themes of like what's happening in that comic because it's a yeah. book about just like we're kind of going through this weird transition of like should they have a king? Is it democracy? That kind of a thing. So like, or like do we expose ourselves to the, the world? world? Exactly. Do we, do we like, let the world know we exist or yeah. not? Yeah. So I love that they're tackling some of those things and the it has that look of the comic which is it, that's what you always want a comic book movie to look like kind of like bring to life what you see on the pages and like this definitely does that yeah <sighs> dude dude the uh okay so I'm, I'm guessing just from this trailer that this takes place immediately following civil war yeah and the king is dead and now obviously i'm guessing uh you know he's the heir to the throne but other people See yeah. otherwise, which is a large part of the books. Um, you know the the shot with Eight Man standing at the top of it. I was like, oh, oh. okay, so he's gonna be he's gonna be vying for the crown as well. And I could see that being something that happens like right at the start of the movie. Mm-hmm. Like he could be a character that like right at the start comes in because a lot of the other stories that they've brought to the cartoons, like uh, the Avengers cartoons and Earth's Mightiest and Heroes stuff like that. Eight Man's usually like the He's the big bad, Mm -hmm. but I feel like that would be, I feel like they could use that as a little twist for us and make you think that he's going to be the big bad, but really he's there as like, he comes back from civil war and, uh, you know, and there, there he is ready to take the crown and has to kick his ass. Yeah. I would, I would like all of that. Like, cause you know, I like the amount that claw is in the trailer and I'd like it to stay that amount because Mm -hmm. claw ever since he's, you know, he's just seemed like a corny hero. (laughs) Like, I mean, a corny villain (laughs) uh, for black Panther. So like, let's, let's get the cool. Get out of here. Uh, you know, uh, lots of thoughts. I don't like it's, I can't even, (laughs) What do you like, think about Michael B. Jordan, dude? Look at that. I know he's looking good. I, I feel like the I I like that my only complaint haircut. about this I've heard trailer. Say he has looks like he has on Super Saiyan armor. Yeah, yeah. Look at, looks I know. Like I like yeah. it. Totally does. You know, and we know now who should do this movie. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no. I think my only complaint that I have about the trailer uh, is probably the same uh, complaint that's going to carry over to the movie is that I'm not in it. <laughs> like that's, but like, I mean, there's, that's just like the, it's like the black actor summit in there. Like in the cameos, let's keep it going. Let's, oh, yeah. let's, yeah. let's keep yeah, it going. I, no, called, no, right? no, no, I, no, I wish I would have got called. No, <laughs> yeah. it's, he's right about that. It's just like, Every black actor of any significance was in this. Show. Oh yeah, I'm. Like, I'm, I'm only, it, only person I didn't see was Uncle Denzel, and you yeah. know what? He might have a he might have come out no, cameo yeah. in it. Like I don't, I don't put them past him. Yeah, let's think, get them all in. Orlando Jones, yeah. he's going to get a little. Uh, <laughs> he's got a shine. comeback happening right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Who? I just it's. It, I want to echo something. If he said on Facebook, like this is our Wonder Woman. Like yeah, it it, it really is. It's just. All just the Marvel Cinematic Universe is just something I never thought was going to happen and couldn't be pulled off on film anyway. Yeah. But then once it started getting pulled off and doing some of the films, if like you would have gave me a list of like, all right, which superheroes will and won't get a movie, like Black Panther would have been crossed off. Like, no, definitely. Yeah. Wait, wait. Like, not only black, but African. Yeah. No way really? they make See, that movie. Yeah. I, 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 I was surprised thought. they didn't do it faster just because in the ex, like the, uh, I'll call it extracurricular media, like mm-hmm. the cartoons and things like that. He's always a huge yeah. central he, focus. He's yeah. such a like, he's such a lifeblood of the Avengers. Well, because at the end of the, the day, he's so much lower yeah. though in those type of, those yeah. type of platforms yeah. versus Wait. like, I'm going to give you 200, 300 million dollars to make a movie yeah. and it's going to be centered around a black character yeah. who is from this secret nation in Africa. Like, can it get less like, you know, yeah, know. just like a focus group, like, who does this appeal to? Like, uh, <laughs> well, hopefully everybody, because yeah. Black Panther's yeah. badass. Yeah. Well, yeah, That's- but it's it, but it is like you know just to circle back on like. Paris like that's the thing that really always made him re- resonate to me is like he is an African hero so like growing up like you know as an African uh, you know it, like seeing that guy it really resonated and I did like need to take a few uh, breaths like it got real choked up seeing like my traditional wear in that style you know like that's something I always saw growing up and you know you see it went back to Nigeria you just see those colors and you don't you you know uh, unless someone's wearing a Kuji sweater you don't see that much <laughs> you don't see that color pop off you know every day so like it, w- it was like genuinely beautiful like that just that shot of all those people in the traditional wear and just like it's like bam here it is this is this is a thing you have to see it and one thing I think I do did always love about 
Black Panther is I feel like anytime Africa's in the media, it's 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 starving kids with AIDS, mm-hmm. like like all all yeah. all three most of the time, and that's that's all you get, and like literally. Most people think that is what it is, but you go to Nigeria and there are cities and you go, you know, I I never like to reference South Africa because, you know, they, you know, that place is Mm -hmm. taken, Um, you know, but like, you know, you can go to Africa and it's not just villages and it's not that. And, you know, you grow up hearing corny jokes of like when you hear some dudes like, oh, um, go into an Ethiopian restaurant. What do they serve there? It's like, it's like you you don't sound funny. You sound uncultured yeah. because mm-hmm. you don't know that <laughs> you, you, your, your, your idea of Africa is so wrong and not knowing that well, it's I, like a small region. I think that, uh, one of the smart choices in this movie and given the cast and what we've seen from this trailer, it's really clear that this entire film takes place in Wakanda. Yeah. Like that is a strong and bold move because even, even Thor one and two, didn't go that yeah. route. Yeah. It's like they were afraid to put the whole thing in Asgard. And yeah. I'm really glad that they're just like, nope, this is a Wakanda film. It's gonna, yeah. it's set there. And from the cast list, it doesn't look like they ever step out, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Which is fantastic to me. Like I said, I I like the I like the story of like I said, I want uh Claw to be gone quickly because I want it to be a story of the of the internal struggles that they yeah. are having within their government. I don't want it to be just some outside force of some white dude coming in there trying to like take over stuff which is like that story can be so overdone like, yeah let's talk about the, i have the, a feeling yeah. they're gonna run with it though yeah i mean i think some some of it's gonna be there because you got to tie it into the universe yeah or whatever but i i like the idea that it looks like it's the internal power struggle of what's going on in wakanda which yeah. is a really interesting story that can be told and you can tell it there and like you said it looks like it's going to be happening there in wakanda they don't need like well you know what it's just too much africa stuff let's stop off in new york real quick yeah, and have yeah, a yeah. captain america yeah, let's give, them, let's give people like, a breather yeah, it's like, I, oh, I feel is- like they're going to have the couple different perspectives there you know like black panther's perspective of following tradition but maybe we should call to the outside world uh, for help every once yeah, in a while. Yeah, he looked like he was at a, like a UN conference or right, something like right, that. Right, so right, right. That makes sense. Which is what, something story, they yeah. tackled in uh, mm-hmm. Earth's Mightiest Heroes and stuff like that. Like we have to overcome our tradition sometimes to help the rest of the world yep. because mm-hmm. we have things that can help everyone else. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I feel like there'll be someone in that group that is purely traditional who's saying, you know, you're the problem. You going to the UN is what got the king killed and we need to stick to our traditions yeah. completely and, re- and remove ourselves from that. And then there's probably going to be another, which it looks like it might be Michael B. Jordan's character, who is a, fin- you know, like uh, someone who's a rebel on the edge, who's working possibly with Claw mm-hmm. to like destabilize and bring, you know, like money. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I've already, I mean, you can see like all these correlating things that they tackle a lot in any political or mm. thriller stuff like that. I think it's all being set up really well. Yeah, yeah. I think, and also you can like take a list, listen to the line that's being said in the voiceover there. It's like, you are a good man and good men aren't kings. Like you have to make some really tough decisions to be a king. Like it's you're ruling over people and oh typically God, dude. you can't be a good person and be a ruler right. like that. Like you need to be. So it's just him wrestling with, trying to be a hero not only to his people but also like i have the means to help the rest of the planet so i have to do that as well and like how how does that how does he fit in with trying to be a king trying to be a, a diplomat you know an ambassador to the rest of from his people to the rest of the world while yeah. also just like trying to like save like just go off with the avengers like how does how does he balance all of right. his life you know how did either of you guys uh, happen to check out the new Avengers run by Jonathan Hickman? Uh, was that like right uh, the one where like where him and Namor, Namor are beefing the whole time? Oh yeah. yeah, they like warring against like Wakanda's warring against Atlantis and all this stuff. There's some great, great stuff in there. Like wow. he gets banished. He's you know because of his what he brought by having outside influence with the rest of the world he gets banished he still considers himself king but he's kind of banished to the land of the dead and that's where the new Avengers meet and all this other yeah. stuff but he eventually like gets his revenge by dropping a planet on Namor like, wow. and kills Namor like <laughs> no joke it's it's one it's an epic storyline yeah. of just that internal politics struggle that I think is so interesting in those books. Cause we don't see that in other Marvel characters. Yeah. You, they try to with Thor sometimes, but it always comes off like it's about God yeah. and yeah. not men. And yeah. so it's less interesting. In a exactly. Way. That is just true. So I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. And a, a part of me, like 
I'm gonna watch this trailer a couple more times. Oh yeah, you got so to. Much stuff I there, like it was flashing a lot of stuff at us there. At the oh, end. Yeah, and, and I, I feel like that's very purposeful. I feel like a lot of these superhero trailers are like here's nuggets. Like they, the trailers are really just like breadcrumbs at this point. Yeah, and another point I should make that I I'm a huge Spider Man fan. People know like that's that's if I'm just gonna be honest, like that's my favorite superhero. But I'm kind of mad at him because like we don't get Black Panther this summer because of Spider Man. I was just like, I'm kind of like, oh, that's like, oh, why aren't we getting this? I'm like, oh, that's right. Spider-Man came back and it pushed the slate. So, yeah. Oh, but I'm now they got like, more time to keep making this movie. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes mm-hmm. with these superhero movies, giving them a little more time. Yeah. I don't yeah, want, I don't want to fall into that it, DC it, trap of like, yeah, yeah exactly. You know. Also, they have time to give me a call. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, the after credit scene, yeah, I know, uh, you know, mm-hmm. so, I mean, Oh gosh, I don't know. There's so much to break down. I feel like we could do an entire trailer breakdown because yeah, I don't. I know we're not scratching the surface. There's like you know his his guard. I know we saw a little bit of that in Civil War, but they definitely introduced a lot more characters in this. Like I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so they and one of these like YouTube little uh, clips here, you see mm-hmm. she's got the hand kind of camera yeah. thing. I was like, oh, I've never seen those before. Like who's yeah. that? What is that? What's going on? I feel bad because like. I immediately think of Livewire, <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, which is cannons, a, right? To- uh, a totally, totally different universe. Different universe mm-hmm. But it, like, that's what what she reminds me of. Mm-hmm. <laughs> totally. And then I want to know, like, I'm sure if I do just a little bit of research in the comments, will let me know too. Like, who is Michael B. Jordan's character? Yeah. Like, that mask he was wearing, like, I don't recognize that from the books, yeah. but it looked great, and his costume looks great, and his. I didn't recognize him when I mm-hmm. first saw him. Yeah. I've never seen him with that scowl and his hair like that. And yeah. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, like, he's always straight. smiling. Yeah. He's yeah. never he's scowling. Always, he's, he's always the hero. He's kind of like they've been grooming him to be like the leading man hero guy. So I'm really interested to see his yeah. turn as like, I'm the villain now. Like, we'll see what he can do with or it. Or is he? Oh. Mm, who knows, oh, man? Who okay. knows? Uh, well, let us know what you guys thought in the comments below. Yes. Uh, what are you most excited about uh, for Black Panther? And... Uh, that's pretty much it. You guys want to sound off? What's your, where can we find yeah, you? Yeah, you know me. If he's not funny, if D's, if you want to play games with me, you'll find me. Yep. Uh, at Paris Lay on Twitter. Just there. Hit us up. Let us know what you think. Uh, make sure to check out our Patreon and all the other wonderful trailer reactions and RPGs on the channel. See you guys later. Bye. Cool, cool. Can we just watch this one more time? Yeah. <laughs> I missed so much. Yeah, it's like. <laughs>